Mac Gang. This is part two of a real life lesson in trucking when it comes to super ego. This is a continuation from the first video. Right, had to stop, get out, check fluids, had to get some coolant, whatnot. Anyway, um, as I was saying, when you come to companies like this, have a plan. If you don't have a plan, if you don't have some type of idea of what you trying to do, where you trying to go, where are you trying to, you know, end up at? It's the end game. Not even, not even so much as the end game, but what you want out of trucking. If you don't have a plan, uh, 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 some type of blueprint or idea, you're not going to make it. Can't just come out here and think, oh, it's money in trucking. We're gonna get this money, and that's gonna be that. No, there's money out here. You can get it, but if you're not responsible enough or take care of what needs to be taken care of, it's not gonna work. And I'm not gonna sit here and try to toot my horn like I'm the best driver, the best money saver or uh, uh, business management. I'm, no, not by far. I've had my ups and downs. I've blown a lot of money. I've saved money. And I'm still trucking. I'm trucking for a reason. I'm trucking because I love this lifestyle. I love to drive. All I'm trying to say is Stop bad mouthing a company and you're not putting in the work. There's a lot of people out here that bad mouth their company, the last company they went, and I'm pretty sure they got some legitimate reasons. But know the industry, know what's going on around you. These guys saying they're not getting loads. Come on, yo. Today is Wednesday, right? I'm already heading to get my fourth load. Dig that. My fourth load. It's a short run. It's about 400 miles. Picking up in uh, Wisconsin. Delivers the next day AM. That's another thing. Know how to do your loads, man. Get the next day deliveries. Me personally, I really don't like two-day loads or weekend loads. But I'll deal with it if it's gonna put me ahead. Know your cost per mile. Know how to do your fuel. Know your break-even points. And just because you have a good week, that don't mean, oh man, I made $3,600, that's all for me. No, take 75% of that $3,500 and put it back into the business and dip in your spend 25%. If you can't do that, then do half. Find out what works for you. I said, I just want to get on here, put my two cents in, stop turning down loads when you're in the bad area. Take that load, get up out of there just to get to the next thing smoking. Build a relationship or some type of friendship with your dispatch. They load board, it's kind of funny, but I keep DAT up and going, so... If, if my dispatch say, hey, I found this load, and 
and I don't agree with it, I don't say, well, I don't want it. What I will do is, yo, dang, I found this low in this area. The deadhead miles is less. And uh, it's a good fit. It's a light load and it's paying decent. Like, I'm going to give him options just like he give me options. And we're going to put it together and make it work. That's how you do that. Don't just try to bash the dispatches or say you ain't making no money, you ain't got no check because you turning down loads or you're not running where you're supposed to or you ain't getting no money because your fuel is out the boo wow. Stop doing that. Accountability. Know how you talk to these people. That, that goes a long way, you feel me? Know where you going. Know what you want about this game. Like I said, I'm not sitting here and I'm not glorifying super ego. But I've seen videos left and right seven months ago, five months ago, eight months ago. Y'all all making these videos bashing a company when the rates is awful. When the rates is bad. The rates been bad since March of 22. It's been bad. Come on, man. Make it make sense. What you need to do is adapt. Yes, we in a recession in trucking. Hell yeah, we in a recession. Like your boy Nip said, can you swim with the sharks? If need be, I can. A great black world. I'm swimming. I'm floating. Just because I've had all types of ups and downs in this game. Know what it's like in an ugly situation. Know what it's like in a beautiful situation. I'll tell you the secret. Appreciate both. Learn from both gonna make mistakes. Stop trying to be a super trucker. Or stop being a baby and think everything is gonna get handed to you on a damn silver platter. Cut that out. This ain't trucking. This ain't what it is. No. No. Don't do that. If you're gonna do that, go home and get a warehouse job or a nine to five. Because this ain't that. You got to have rhino skin out here. Straight up. If you don't, you can't drive, you can't get with it, or you can't deal with the sacrifices that come out here, or you can't put up with days being away from home or weeks. Come on, yo. This ain't for you. I've been there. I think the longest I stayed out was like four months. I used to train students, but that's neither here nor there. But like I said, man, know what you want to do out here. Know what you're going for. Don't have your expectations sky high. Go in the game, pay attention, ask questions, learn, make your mark. And to the other guys that didn't make no money and left the company, sorry ain't work for you. It could have, you could have done some things better. Some people actually waited out just to see what happened. Somebody give a trial and error period. That's cool. That's a good thing, too. If you got to get out, you got to get out. But think about why you getting out. Think about what you did or what you didn't do that you could have done that could have made the situation better. Other than that, I'm out here till Thanksgiving. I'm going to run up a bag, feed the family. Me and Mac chilling right now. Constant dealing with this funny weather. We're gonna keep trucking. Y'all know how I get down, man. Comment, like, subscribe, share, hit that bell so you can get notified every time I drop a life lesson, yo. Welcome to the Mac game. This is what it is.
more videos. Not in the main time, the between time. But stay cool like water. Jesus loves you. Cheer, cheer, cheer.